So I thought it might be handy making a video on how to update the BIOS and BMC on the Supermicro H12 SSL series boards. Supermicro doesn't really recommend updating uh, the BIOS and BMC unless you need to, which generally would be is if you're having hardware issues or if you need additional CPU support, basically. Um, and before you do the update, I would make sure you download the uh, update file and carefully read the documentation. I would also make sure that all the hardware in your machine is working properly. So make sure you have good memory and whatnot. Um, any devices that are plugged in that aren't necessary, you may want to remove before doing the update. And the biggest thing you want to make sure is you have a battery backup that works properly before you start the update. The update process can take a while. It's about, I'm going to say, probably almost a half an hour process to do both the BIOS and BMC. Um, granted, you can, you can do one at a time. So each one by itself probably takes around 15 minutes. But if you do update it, you want to make sure your battery backup can sustain at least a runtime of 20, 25 minutes to be safe. But uh, yeah, otherwise, uh, off to the instructions. So from what I gather on Supermicro's instructions, the first thing you want to update is the BMC. And you want to make sure you have the correct version of BMC that you're upgrading from. And to update the BMC, you're going to go to Maintenance and then Firmware Management. And then from there, you'll select BMC and whether or not you want to back up the existing BMC image. And then you'll click Next to upload the BMC file. And then once you've selected that file, you'll click Upload. And it'll take around two and a half minutes to upload the BMC file. And it may seem like it's doing nothing at first, but then it'll kind of go through and then it'll hang potentially around 75%. And it'll just kind of keep processing and doing its thing. And then eventually it'll um, show more progress. And then once it's done, you'll need to uh, potentially scroll down to click update. And then once you click update, you'll uh, have to wait for the update process to go on. And for me, that time took around eight minutes, um, technically a little longer. And it'll do this update in like multiple steps. So as you see, what it just changed from the percentage to now it's saying that it's restarting. And I believe during the restart process, the BMC is doing additional steps for that update. And once the update is done, you will see your web browser page refresh and it'll take you back to the login screen. And you'll just have to type in your credentials to log into the BMC. And now that you're logged into your BMC, just want to look around and make sure that the BMC updated successfully. And in my case, my browser is hanging a little. And everything's loaded now. Um, and if the firmware version for the BMC doesn't show 
that it's been updated. You may need to power cycle the system, but otherwise it might just take a second for it to refresh and show the correct information. But otherwise, that's uh, basically all there is to it for the BMC, and the next step would be updating the BIOS. All right, so to do the BIOS update, you want to make sure your system's off and check to make sure you have a compatible BIOS version that you're working with to upgrade to. And you'll go to the maintenance tab, and then under firmware management, that's where you can select update BIOS. And you can check to back up the BIOS if you want. And from there, you'll need to upload the BIOS file, which you would have gotten from Supermicro. And uh, to upload the file, it takes around two and a half minutes from my experience of doing this. And it'll kind of hang there at 70%, which feels weird, but it's doing something in the background. What? I don't know, but eventually it'll start to uh, progress further, as you can see. And then once you've uploaded that file, you'll get this screen that says that it's been uploaded and it'll show a task list. And it'll show that the file has been uploaded and verified. And then it says BIOS update pending. If your system's not already off, you need to turn it off. If it is off, you need to power it on. And when you hit the button to power it on, basically it'll like power on for a fraction of a second and then power back off. And then if you check back in the BMC, it will start doing what it needs to do. I at first was confused because I just assumed it was going to start running, but then it's like, oh, all right, I guess I need to hit the power button to wake the system up. And once it starts going, obviously you don't want to interrupt it. From my experience when I did this, it took around five minutes to do and uh, you definitely want to make sure you're using a UPS, as I stated in the beginning of the video, just to protect your system, since this BIOS process does take a while. Now, once the BIOS update's been done, you want to go through and just verify and make sure that the BIOS update is showing in your BMC. You will probably need to power cycle the system uh, once or twice just to get everything to update in all the different spots. I found in some of the spots it was showing the correct BIOS version that I updated to. And then there was one spot where it didn't. Um, but basically after poking around enough, the BMC uh, realized that it had the latest version and that was all resolved. But otherwise, the rest of this video is me just kind of poking around, making sure everything's working. Um, the only other thing you uh, have the ability to update would be the CPLD, which you technically don't have the ability to update because Supermicro won't give you the file without requesting it. Uh, apparently, it's not recommended by Supermicro to update the C CPLD firmware unless you have a really good reason to. Um, and you either have to open a support ticket with Supermicro or send the motherboard back to Supermicro and they can do it for you. This is information I got from Reddit, so I will leave a source, a link to the source in the description for that. But otherwise, if you've managed to successfully update your BMC and uh, BIOS, you should be good to go.